Hello everybody, in today's drill we will be going over Genesis chapter 4 verses 19 through 22. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Start right off. And Lamech, or Lamech, took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Ada. Let's see. The name of the one was Ada. And the name of the other, Zilla, of the other. Notice those are the same, the same strokes of the, of the and of and other are the same. Zilla. And Ada bore. Now this is often pronounced Jabal or uh, especially in English, but the closer pronunciation would be to have a silent uh, J or even a Y sound, so it would be Yabel, Habel or Yabel. So we will go with that as far as the transliteration. So, and Ada Bear Yabel so we do a ya, which is a elongated circle. Yabel. He was the father of such as dwell in tents. He was the father of such as dwell in tents. We probably could of such of such as dwell in tents. As dwell in tents. And of such as have cattle. And and of such as have cattle. Let's draw just a little bit more bold. There we go. And his brother's name was, you guessed it, Ubel. So we won't be doing Jubal, even though that's the common uh, English pronunciation. We'll do Jubal. And his brothers name was Ubel. Name was Ubel. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. He was the father of all, of all such, I believe that would be a, a phrase there, so let's try that, of all such as handle the harp. So... 
handle the harp and organ. So harp. Yeah, we'll make that a little bit higher up so we're not crowding the line below. The harp and organ. And Zilla, she also bear Tubalkine. Bear. Tubalkine. An instructor of every artificer What a word, right? Artificer. Artificer. So, are you a craftsman? No, I'm an artificer. Think of that. So, artificer in brass. So, that curves. And iron. And the sister of Tubalkine was Naama. And the sister of Tubalkine. Such a tricky stroking. There we go. Was. Naama. So for this one, probably is a little bit unorthodox in in uh, Greg, but have two vowels next to each other to show the difference. Naama, a re a resounding of the vowel. All right. So that concludes today's uh, drill. So this is Genesis four nineteen through twenty two. I hope this was helpful to you. If you if you liked the video, then uh, please uh, like. I, I click the little like button below the video, share it with any of your fellow shorthand uh, lovers. Um, I would love to have some critiques, actually, to make sure that I'm thinking about the stroking and phrasing correctly. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want more Greg uh, shorthand content for right now. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Now go out and practice some shorthand. Bye-bye.